So here, this is, we're going to assume that our triglyceride is going to be 5%, even though um, whole fat milk is not actually 5% triglycerides, but whatever, that's just reality. Reality has no place here. Um, so we require to dilute uh, this 5% milk. Um, by the way, forgive the costume change. Anyway, 5% um, milk uh, to provide a range of known concentrations. And we're going to use simple dilution. Now, we need to decide on three further concentrations of triglyceride to make, and then complete table 1.1. Here is table 1.1. The difference between each concentration should be 1%. All right? We need to make 20 cubic centimeters of each concentration. So, that means that our total volume will need to be 20 cubic centimeters for all of our concentrations. All of these will be 20. And that means that our volume of milk and our volume of distilled water will add together to equal 20. So this plus this will equal 20. So 20 plus 0 equals 20. That is correct. All right. So that jives with this, all right? The difference between each of our concentrations should be 1%, and we're going to make three further concentrations. We have one, two, three further different percentage concentrations of triglycerides in milk, and we are starting at 5% over here. Percentage concentration 5. We're starting at 5. The difference between each of our concentrations is going to be 1% each. So 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. Now, effectively what's going on here is we have 5 parts for each of our 20 cubic centimeters. For each of our 20 cubic centimeters of total volume, we have five parts. So that means of our total volume of 20, five of those five parts are milk, and zero of those five parts are water. In 4% milk, in 4% triglyceride, four of those parts are going to need to be milk, and one of those parts are going to need to be water. The same is true over here for 3%. Three of those parts are going to need to be milk, and two of those parts are going to need to be water. And the same is true over here for two. Two of those parts are going to need to be water, milk, and, uh, one of, and three of those parts are going to need to be water. So. Five-fifths of 20 is 20. Four-fifths of 20 is 16. Three-fifths of 20 is 12. Two-fifths of 20 is 8. Now, 20 minus 8 is 12. Three-fifths of 20 is 12. 12. Same goes for here. 20 minus 12 is 8. 2 fifths of 20 is 8. 12 plus 8 is 20. 1 fifth of 20 is 4. 20 minus 16 is 4. 4. Now, in our answer itself, we shouldn't have all of this math over here. So all of this should have been done without this rough working. We could do our rough working off on the side over here somewhere, and we don't need all this fractional work. All that fractional work can be done in pencil, like it says, but I don't have a pencil anywhere around here, so I did it in pen. Um, don't do math in pen, kids. Um, so says your math teacher. I'm not a math teacher. Uh, anyway, now, state the percent, state the concentration of triglycerides which you expect to reach the end point pink to white in the shortest time. Remember, we have here the 
uh, triglycerides that we would expect to reach the end point, pink to white, in the shortest time. So we have, um, what is our uh, enzyme reaction here? We have a fixed enzyme concentration. At no point in any of this were we asked to dilute our enzyme concentration. Our enzyme concentration E was always fixed. We were never asked to dilute E. So E is fixed. When we have fixed E and our substrate concentration is being diluted, our substrate is changing and our rate of reaction, V, is different. That is going to be the shape of our curve, which means what we expect is that substrate concentration increases, our rate of reaction will increase until we reach a Vmax endpoint sort of a deal. So that means that our substrate concentration, our highest substrate concentration, our substrate being 5% triglycerides, because remember, when we look back here, the hydrolysis of uh, the lipase will be, uh, the substrate for lipase will be triglycerides. 5% is our highest concentration. We expect that 5% is going to be the highest concentration. We expect that that is going to be the shortest time. Remember that um, as substrate concentration increases, that will be inversely proportional to our time to end point. So that means that as substrate concentration increases, end point decreases. Now, our step one of our reaction is to prepare the concentration of triglycerides in the table 1.1 and the containers provided. So we're going to scroll over here, and I'm going to perform this simple dilution right now. So using my, uh, my marker, my glass marking pen, uh, I have pre-labeled all of these beakers, and I am going to perform my serial dilution now. I have pre-labeled all of these 5%, 4%, 3%, and 2%. And this is my uh, bench reagent container for M. This is already at 5%. I need 20 in each of 20 mil, uh, 20 cubic centimeters in each of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking 10 because this only this uh, 10 cubic centimeter syringe only measures up to 10. So I'm going to take in 10. That is 20. Now that that is 20, I'm going to move this off to the side so that I don't mess things up. What I want to do is I want to move things away as I am done with them so that I don't add any more than I have to. I want to keep things out of my way because even if I am very careful, I can still screw things up. I want to make things idiot proof. Even if I don't think I'm an idiot, my body might be. Now, if I'm remembering, uh, my paper is elsewhere so that I don't get it covered in milk. Um, if I'm remembering my 4%, I needed to add 16 cubic centimeters of M. So I'm going to add 16 cubic centimeters of M to my 4%. Alright, so I'm going to add 10. And now I'm going to draw up 6. six. Now that I've added 10 and 6, that's 16. I'm going to move it off to the side so I don't mess things up. Now, for 3%, I need 12. So I'm going to draw up 10. And add that to 3. And now I'm going to take in 2. And add that to 3. And now I have 12, and I move that off to the side so I don't mess things up again. And now for 2, I needed 8 cubic centimeters. I'm going to draw up 8 cubic centimeters. All right. And I'm going to add that 8 cubic centimeters to my 2% beaker. Now, 
I'm done with my M, I'm going to move it off to the side, and now I have my W here. My W is distilled water, that's the other part of this equation. 5% is already done, I'm leaving that over here off to the side. I'm going to bring back my 2%, my 3%, and my 4%. Now, I don't want to use this anymore. Well, if I only had one syringe, I could use my for washing and my for waste cup to clean my test tube, my syringe, and make sure that it was clean and ready to use again, and it's ready to go. However, this lab, I was given multiple syringes to use. I was given three. But I've just shown you how to use and clean syringes and get them ready for reuse if you're given a washing and for waste container. But I'm going to use the syringes given to me. All right? So I'm going to use one of these to clean syringes. I'm going to set these for washing and for waste containers to the side. Now, for my 4%, I put in 16, and I need 4 to be the remaining 4. I need 4 to fill to the remaining 20. So I'm going to add 4 to the 4% to fill to the remaining 20. And now it's a 20. Before I do that, I need to swirl this to make sure that it is thoroughly mixed. Now, I was given a glass stir rod, but I'm partial to swirling this because this is a low set. This is a very small quantity of a very small volume in a tall beaker, and so I can swirl this gently. If you're not feeling confident in your swirling abilities, you can use the stir rod. It's fine. It just makes a large clinking sound, and you need to be con con uh, you need to be cognizant of your neighbors. So, put that down. Now, for three percent, I use twelve, so I need to fill the remaining eight. So there, I'm at eight. Fill the remaining three. I can now swirl this. Put that off to the side so I don't add any more. And now for the 2%, I added eight, and I can fill the remaining 12. Now I need to fill to 10. And now add another two. Now because this is distilled water, I don't really need to wash this anymore. Just dry that. It's fine. Swirl. Set my water off to the side. And that's simple dilution.